The arms race of the 1950s is a great case study on how Americans react to fear. What do we do when we're afraid? We educate ourselves and we prepare. What are we doing right now in America? We're educating ourselves and we're preparing. What's great about history is we get a judge. It's been 70 years since the atomic anxiety of the 1950s. And some of the ways that Americans prepared, we looked at and we say, that was good, that was smart. That was a way to prepare for a worst case scenario. Some of the other things we did, for example, buying fiberglass bomb shelters, that doesn't age well. Bad news for everybody who purchased a fiberglass bomb shelter in the 1950s. If we would have been attacked by an atomic bomb during that era, this would not have saved you. In fact, you would have died just the same with fiberglass shards in your face. So I ask you now, you look at how people are preparing and they're educating themselves to combat the coronavirus. It'll be interesting in 10 years, which of these preventative measures do we look at and say, that was smart, that was a good idea. And maybe some of the other things we've seen, like people, the hoarding toilet paper, buying tons of cases of bottled water, maybe they're preparing. And maybe they're, maybe they're going to be the ones who have the last laugh. Or are we going to look at these stories in 10 years and laugh, laugh about it and think, ah, oh, that was silly. And that's what's great about history is we do learn lessons from history, but also sometimes we look at what people did back then and we're able to get a little bit of a chuckle about it. Though make no mistake, during the 1950s, people were afraid. And how do people react to fear? We prepare and we educate ourselves. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. For now, take care of yourselves, take care of each other.